well student very good morning to all today i am going to explain the rest of the paragraph of the chapter a visit to cambridge student i think you can understand that the what the means and what the sense is hidden in this chapter and you are now become able that you can grow your imagination 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 so that you can develop your own thought and could understand that what a disabled man think about think about the world so what the so student now i'm going to explain the rest of the paragraph now from here before you like before you like all lalten whose walls were worn so thin you glimpse only that light inside is in condescence of a man that means here firdaus kanga suggests to take a example take an example that just suppose that a lalten which is hand just in front of you and just opposite the wall is thin and warm but you can see the glimpse or the light of the lamp that means stephen hawkins was a person whose body was just thin but what the light is born inside him you can see from that thin body and that light was his intelligence his humanity and his high thinking and a gentleness the body almost irrelevant and his body was almost irrelevant just like a lalten so that the light just comes out from that medium and which was his body exist only like a case of made of shadow so that i no believe in eternal soul he or firdaus kanga express himself that he was not a much much believer in supernatural things or the spiritual things and you can say that the things which relate to the god or spirituality but here he also express that he just began to began, uh, began to think that what kinds of man he is the man who is sitting in front of us he was not a mere a simple person he was a man of the supreme creation of the god know that this is the what each of us is everything else and accessories that means he further mention that what the things is inside us this is the real things and our body just is a accessories it is not a real humanity or a real human what we think what the capability we have that is the real that is the real human and the body which is made by the stone uh, bones skins muscles this it is just a, just an accessories what do you think is the best thing about being disabled i asked him earlier then he asked a question to mr stephen hawkins that what do you think that what is the real means of being a disabled i don't think there is anything good about being disabled i think i said you do discover how much kindness there is in the world that means uh, he also mentioned that there is not a good things about being disabled you can discover the much kindness there is in the world that means the world is full of a full of what kindness student when i give you a word and after that give you a pause for a second 
you should just reply yourself that what i want to express by this you can feel yourself that you are just understanding the sense and the meanings what i am expressing then yes he said it was a disadvantage of a voice synthesis here that it could convey no inflection no shades no tone or tone and i could not tell how enthusiastic enthusiastically he agreed with me that means further stephen said that this is uh, it is the advantage this is the disadvantage of a voice the of a machine voice that couldn't produce your sense your emotions your tones and the anguishes of your voice of your words every time i shifted in my chair or turned my wrist to watch the time every time when i am talking with mr stephen hawkins i was watching my wrist and watching my time because i have got a time just only half an hour to meet with mr stephen hawkins and the time was time was just passing rapidly and i have a lot of thing to chat with him or talk with him every time i shifted i wanted to make every one hour 30 minutes count i wanted to make every one of hours 30 minutes count i felt a huge relief and exhilaration in the possibilities of my body and then when i i was talking with him i feeling a exhilaration that means energy energy in my body and began to think that my body is not a curse for me my body is a boon for me and there is a lot of possibilities grows when i am talking with uh, when i was talking with mr stephen hawkins how little it mattered then that i would never walk or even stand and now it is no matter that i am unable to walk unable to run and unable to stand it is no matter i told him how he had been an inspirational inspiration beyond click for me and surely for others did the thought helps help him click here means the phrase or idea is used too often that it loses its meaning click here means click here means what the meaning is given i told him how he had been inspi- inspiration beyond click for me that means i told to mr stephen hawkins that he had been a great inspiration for me and i learned a lot from him while i was talking with him i feel that every disability has an ability has an ability no he said i thought how foolish i was to ask when your body is a cluster traffic trophic room and the wall are growing narrow day by day it doesn't it doesn't do much good to know that there are people outside smiling with admiration and you see a breathing still close to traffic that means a very small and suffocating here he said that no he said i thought of foolish i was to ask that means when i was asking to him i was thinking that i was uh, i was a great fool and when our body is it become very suffocated and very small and seems that the room or the time which is grows a narrow day by day that we feel suffocation and we thinks that i have not a much time to spend or to do anything is there any advice you can give disabled people something that might help make the life better and finally he asked to mr stephen hawkins that do you want to give a message to the disabled person by which 
they can get an inspiration and they can motivate themselves to do or to survive or to live or normal life they should concentrated on what they are good at i think things like the disabled olympics are a waste of time